We just got back from Singapore where we had the chance to be part of the eighth edition of the Singapore FinTech Festival. It's where heads of states, policy makers, exhibitors and founders convene to shape the future of finance. With more than 50,000 visitors and a large event expo that goes across five stages, it's the biggest event of its scale. Singapore is a must-visit country, and we did visit most of it. We did the gardens, the Marina Bay, we did Chinatown, but we didn't get to do everything. Singapore is the heart of many, many different cultures and ethnicities, and it's just fascinating how these people, different as they are, came to work on one single thing and made Singapore not only the most advanced country in Asia, but in the world. The question that we have been asked the most was how come three students of a social science background, especially behavioral sciences, in a fintech festival? And I think besides the learning aspect of it, because we got to attend a lot of meetings and talks, we also gained insight into the key elements that made the success of the organization and the management of the event. And we also got to see the different tools and intervention that every single exhibitor used to attract more visitors and to collect information about the different profiles. So I think all in all, our experiences just highlight the fact that social sciences more generally and behavioral sciences more specifically are so versatile and they permeate the dynamic world we live in. We were able to get a first-hand exposure on the backstage organization of the event. We were also fortunate to accompany a delegation from Ghana in high-level collaboration and partnership discussions with the Central Bank of Singapore. It was very thrilling and exciting to say the least. Many thanks to the Chief FinTech Officer, Mr. Sopnando, for this opportunity and for the Elevandi and Castellar team for taking care of us during our stay.